Uh, NVIDIA is number two. the number two most valuable company in the world with a market cap of 3.012 trillion. trillion with a T. Uh, this makes NVIDIA only the third company to cross the three trillion threshold. So it's Microsoft, Apple, and NVIDIA. NVIDIA stock appears particularly attractive to retail investors. So these are everyday consumers rather than just um, professional portfolio holders. And they are likely contributing significantly to NVIDIA's upward momentum. Much of the success is due to their AI chip portfolio, but NVIDIA has also reached a new peak of 88% market share for discrete graphics. Holy That's crap. Wild. That is the highest it's been since the company was founded, which is kind of wild to me because AMD's products right now are like pretty good. I am, I am still Radeon challenging. How are you? And I'm fine. Nice. Well, I committed publicly to skipping the, the 40 series. Right. Yeah. And like, you don't have any more driver issues or anything? For the number of times I've been called a liar, I'm a pretty damn honest person. <laughs> um, I said I'd do it, and I'm doing it, like I do. So, driver no. Driver problems? So, in, in, my, in the LAN PCs in the basement, yeah. um, you know, last hurrah, I picked up used EVGA 30 series. So I, it's not like I don't have any NVIDIA in the entire house or whatever. Yeah. But when the 40 series came out, and was so uncompetitive. Your, your primary computer that you distribute to multiple screens across the house and use very often. 7900 XTX, baby. Yeah. Yep. And like I've it's been not a cop out that it. other computers in the house have other GPUs. He literally, like, when, when, when we went over to your place to play hockey, tape to tape. Yep. It was your upstairs computer. Well, okay. Actually, no, no, I ended up it's using this. It's in the this. basement, I guess. Oh, did you? Yeah, because uh, I was Not having... at the LAN before. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was my desktop. Yeah, at the LAN it was this for a variety of reasons. Yeah. But um, before... I wanted to be able to use my computer. Yeah. <laughs> if other people were in the theater. Yeah. Logic. Uh, but yeah, no, I was, I was using my upstairs computer. Because the computer's downstairs, but the screen is up. Well, one yeah. of the one of that's the why I kind of like it hitch. It's like uh, he like usually uses it upstairs, but the computer yeah. itself is not there. Anyways. Yep. Uh, and you know what? It was I had some issues with it at first. It's been rock solid. Smooth that's lately. really good. That's good to hear. Yeah, it's been rock solid. Um, at Computex, Nvidia outlined its roadmap for chip architectures with Blackwell Ultra in 2025, Rubin in 2026, and Rubin Ultra in 2027. They also showed off their upcoming RTX AI PCs with Copilot Plus features, though they seemed reluctant to use Microsoft branding of Copilot Plus PCs or to acknowledge that these RTX PCs are powered by AMD Strix Point CPUs. Mm. Fascinating. Mm. Um, discussion question here. We want here. the glory and all of the glory. NVIDIA is clearly killing it, but does that really mean it's worth one and a half Googles slash, slash, slash alphabets? I feel like this is going to pop. I just don't know when. But not investment advice. I don't know. Um, it just seems like too much. It feels like uh, uh, another version of Nortel. Yeah, I uh, I was looking at uh, this popped up in my in my Twitter feed. Um, a comparison of Cisco's like meteoric rise and then leveling off. I mean, what goes up exponentially? must come down at some point but would i bet when. would i bet against it today dude if you, if you shorted it when that first massive spike happened and then this event happened and it went up again you're hurting yeah like that would be a really quick way for me to go completely bankrupt in like days yeah so <laughs> yeah i don't know i don't know man if you got the tea leaves on you i suspect there's some some big money to happen there but i don't know not me. Not me at all. And like I... Uh, Who's number one? Uh, number one is um, Microsoft. Not by much. Yeah, so let's see, let's see who ends up with the higher valuation. The, the shoveler or the shovel maker? I was maker. just going to say the shovel seller has not yet surpassed the shoveler. Yeah. We'll see. But I mean, in fairness, Microsoft has a lot... A lot of other stuff going on. What I want to know is like, what's next for NVIDIA? Because NVIDIA is one of those companies that values partnerships 
until they don't really feel like it anymore. Until they don't really feel like it anymore. And I, I wouldn't say that they've necessarily Sherlocked too many partners, uh, but they definitely they're, squeeze. They're, they're definitely go it aloneers slash squeezers. There's a reason Nvidia and Apple don't get along. Um, <laughs> too similar. <laughs> you can you can only fit so much ego at one negotiating table, you know. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, I want to. I want to see what's Man. next. Like, like, okay, look at the way Bitmain behaves about their their mining hardware, right? Yeah. Or has where they'll like we'll literally use it first. Yeah, yeah. They'll they'll create a new generation thing, and like at what at what point with their billions and billions and billions of dollars does Nvidia kind of just go? Why are we selling this hardware? I mean, it's not like the thought never occurred Nvidia to them. Data centers. I, I, it, what, what about, what about uh, you know, NVIDIA Enterprise now instead of well, VForce now? Ooh, Why? Not even, that's not even, that's actually, in my opinion, that's stronger branding than GeForce now. Enterprise now is actually wicked brand. Holy crap. It's not like they couldn't afford to build Imagine a Imagine you're center. a startup and you're just like, that's the product I want. I don't know. The, the naming of that for a startup company as a product for a startup company is very strong. And so I just like, I'm just looking at it going, why wouldn't they just take their first hundred thousand Blackwell chips and just give, give themselves even like a three month lead. Yeah. Just, just lease it. I mean, I, that's the same thing that Ari does with their top level cameras. You can't buy their top level camera. They can't, they can't bin enough perfect sensors at that size or whatever, or whatever the, the reasons for it are. The cost would be so high that they're just like, no, you, you rent this. Uh, we, we literally will not sell it to you. So that way we can ensure anything, you know, shot on Alexa, whatever that, hey, hey, Andy, Andy, what's the one you can only rent? The RE65 or something like that. Yeah, you, you can't buy it. Oh, are you checking Enterprise now on GoDaddy? Yeah, it's already bought. Of course it is. It's being camped by someone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, Nvidia can afford it. Yeah, dude. I um, I'm kind of wondering if someone just sniped that. Like, well, we were, no, 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 no. There's was, no way. It would have been pretty fast. Two dictionary words, like twelve characters. It's it was probably, already taken. Yeah, it's probably already taken. Um, man, I, 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 I don't know, man. Does it mean it's worth one and a half alphabets slash Google's? Like, that's here's the thing, though. Like AI is going to be this tool that underpins everything. It's going to underpin Alphabet and Google's efforts to better target their advertising. It's going to underpin Facebook's efforts to, you know, better understand everything about you and your life and, and target you. Like, and it's to be gonna... fair, a lot of it already does. Yes. I think it's just like development in this space is accelerating extremely rapidly. Yeah. A enterprise trust in proposals and willingness to accept proposals of work in this space are almost blank check right now. Yeah, I mean, look at Humane. 